So you're trying to customize your YouTube channel and give it a little bit of pizzazz. Well, in this training video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is, and I'm gonna give you two templates to make your job a little bit easier. Stay tuned. All right, you ready to create that custom banner for your YouTube channel? Well, what we're gonna do is go to pixlr.com and click on the advanced editor. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you two templates. One's a Pixlr template, and the other one for power users, I'm gonna give you a Photoshop template. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to make that custom banner in Pixlr. So let's go ahead and find the template. Um, I put it on my desktop here, and let's go ahead and upload it. Okay, now that we have the template open, I don't want you to get overwhelmed with this. It's really more simpler than what it looks. Okay, and I'm gonna walk you right through it. So the first thing we're gonna do is move your cursor over to the layers here, and I want you to scroll down all the way to the bottom and double click on this lock, okay? And let me kind of tell you a little bit about YouTube's uh, banner for the one channel design. It's basically a responsive banner, and it will resize itself depending on what device you're looking at. So if you're on a desktop computer, it's gonna be a certain size. If you're on a tablet or an iPad, Nexus 7, it's going to be a different size. A mobile device, it's going to be a different size. But I don't want you to get really, really overwhelmed with this because it's really easy. I've made it super easy. So let's go ahead and click off the complication here. Okay. And the first thing that you need to do to create your banner is uh, come up to, to layers here. And I want you to um, click on this where it says open image as a layer. Okay, now that I have my picture uploaded here, what I wanna do is position it so that it's perfect for our banner design. Now let's move over to the layers and let's activate logo safe area. Um, and you're gonna see that this gray box is around here. Now this gray box is basically what all the devices are gonna see. This little place right here is for your, your picture or your avatar that's on your YouTube channel. And just be aware of that. Um, and I noticed that the snowboarder is being cut off right here. So what we want to do is move him. So you can click on this little move tool right here. Make sure that your layer is selected. And let's just kind of adjust him where we want him to be. Okay. That looks really cool with the sun coming through. Um, but notice right over here that it's going to be cut off. So on the TV view and also the desktop view, that's going to look a little funky here. So we're going to need to modify that. Now let's come up to edit and what we want to do is go into free transform and what you'll want to do is hold down your shift key and then uh, move this bounding box and get it right position so it goes to right to the edge and then hit enter or return all right let's make this banner a little bit more interesting let's go ahead and click on the type tool here click here um, let's go ahead and make it this snowboarding tv and you can select different fonts and it has all the google fonts that are here it's really really cool uh, you can change the size let's go ahead and make that uh, 94 um, and bold italics let's keep it white if you want to change the color you can just change the color there it's really cool uh, but let's just keep it white and let's go ahead and now move it click the moving tool let's just select it and move it over here a little bit and let's go ahead and add some effects so to do that uh, you can come over here to the layers tool again make sure that the text is selected here and let's click this icon and that's for your styles uh, you can see that they have shadows um, i like the shadow so let's go ahead and put a little shadow on there get the distance here right change the opacity um, hit OK. Another thing I like to do is change the mode. So let's go ahead and change the mode and let's make it an overlay. That looks pretty cool. Okay, now we need to see if it's safe uh, basically across the, the board on all the devices. Uh, we'll go ahead and unclick logo safe area on that layer. Click on desktop uh, area. Uh, that looks good. Tablet view. That looks good. So I think we're, we're good to go. So the next thing that we need to do is come up to file, down to save. And what we need to do is save this as a JPEG format. Make sure you do the quality at 100%. Uh, you can go up to two megabytes uh, for your upload on your YouTube or YouTube channel. And let's go ahead and save it. That's good to go. And now we're ready to upload it to your YouTube channel. Now let's upload this banner to YouTube. Uh, just go to your channel, make sure you're logged in, roll over your banner and you'll have this little icon that shows up, that pencil. Click on that and click edit artwork. And what we'll do now is browse our computer here for our brand new banner that we just uh, saved. And let's go ahead and upload. It's going to take a second. And voila, check this out. This is the way it looks on a computer. Uh, see how it just moves. It's a little responsive there. 
Okay, which is cool. See how it fits perfectly on the mobile device. And now look at the tablet. See how cool this is? It's perfect. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Now, before you go to my website to download your free template to make your job a lot easier in customizing that YouTube banner, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have some great videos that are coming out and you don't want to miss it.